Hello. After I posted my Devo 7E switch mod, um, I got a very interesting question that made me think more about the switches and uh, how I was going to use them. And I hadn't actually gone through and tinkered with this much. Um, this doesn't answer his question directly, but it, I think it'll be helpful for others because as I started poking around on the internet, there's not a whole lot... Well, th there's a lot of information out there about how to use the switches, how to set up the mixers so you get different value changes. Uh, but the thing that I wanted was, you know, we can see these switches move in the channel map. Uh, I can show you that if we uh, uh, go to ch channel monitor there, we scroll, uh, we go. So if you, let's see, we got a glare, okay. So you can see the values changing here. And then if we go down, we can see the B values changing. So it works, but how do we make that work for quads? Uh, and specifically, how do we make those values show in clean flight? And to my surprise, when I plugged in a quad, not this one, a different one, um, into clean flight, I only got two value changes for these three position switches. So that's not quite what we wanted to accomplish. So this would be an add on to that hopefully I can keep this out of that glare there we go that's a good spot um, so to get three values in clean flight unfortunately we can't just set up the transmitter to do that we have to go into the model menus but you can copy this config part out of the model menus into the other models that you have where you want the same thing so if you do it once you can do the copy and paste um, or you can do it through the transmitter if you're in the field or something of that nature but we go into the model menu and then we go into the mixers and I'm going to do it for this switch over here which is B, SWB and we have to change that from simple to complex and there, there's more than one method to this I found um, one of the people of the Deviation TX team they had kind of a two page method but I couldn't get that to work I'm probably not doing something right I'm not claiming that they're wrong in any way uh, but we want to set up three mixers and that basically tells us how many pages that we have and then we're on page one and so we're going to go to switch go all the way down here and we're going to select the zero switch and we leave that there our source is right now it says that but if we go to fixed changes the source to none and it's at hundred which is fine that's what we want so now we go back up we go to page two and we select the switch again but we select instead of B0 we select B1 and the source has changed but we won't care about that because when we get back to fixed it switches to none now we want this set to zero hopefully you can see that Three, two, one, zero. So now we go back up to page three. Oh, page three. Our switch is now B2. I'm shaking the camera as I punch these buttons too rapidly. And, well. And we want, to, uh, so we've got our curve is fixed again. And we want our scale to be minus 100 which is what we had in the channel config. Why we have to do this for each model, I'm not sure, but this is what we have to do. And I'll put the other method in, this, in the description so you guys can give it a try. It's from MWM, which I believe is um, probably one of the administrators or mods of the site, maybe even a developmental contributor. Uh, whoops, I'm going the wrong way. So we set that to zero, and just to show you what's down here, no trim, no offset, we're not doing any of that stuff. Now, we've got all these pages, we've got to go to save, and we hit enter. So now we see it doesn't have anything here. Well, how's that going to work? Well, let's plug in our quad, which you see here I've got my frog, which is this little guy, and I'll show you what it looks like in clean flight. I've got my frog connected here, and um, we can see my sticks are all moving just fine. And if I touch that three position switch now with the mixer at complex and three pages, 
Watch Ox 3 there. 1841, 1500, 1159. Oh, so that allows us to be able to go over here to modes. And if you look at uh, air mode there with Aux 3, you can see it changing. So you could do something like, uh, say, arming, uh, say you just, this is just an example. Let's just set up Aux 3, and that arming is pretty much anything below there. And then uh, air mode is this, you know, if you're armed and you're in air mode, and then if you go to the bottom position you're in air mode with horizon um, and then let's let's add something here uh... we don't have acro plus maybe they removed that now it was something else i was going to set up on here so if we click save and now if i i've currently got the three position switch in the top position that's why you see it the value over eighteen hundred switch it down i'm armed and i'm in air mode so i'd be armed air mode and rate mode and if I go all the way down to the bottom position, I'm in horizon, air mode, and armed. So that really opens up our values. And with different uh, um, versions of clean flight or beta flight, you might have different options such as the uh, a beeper. You could set up one of those to be on a beeper. Or you could just use a two-position switch for your beeper instead. Because um, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. This uh, uh, Flip 32 has got a built-in beeper on it. So I'm probably going to set up this to uh, three position switch to control all my uh, different uh, flight modes. And then I'll use one of my two position switches for the uh, the beeper. So when it goes down, I can find the little guy. Um, hopefully that was helpful. I know that it was kind of a learning process for me. I spent probably, I don't know, better part of an afternoon and a day kind of poking around on the internet trying to find something. And there really, oddly enough, there isn't very many videos on this. Um, and I know that there's a host of other things that we can probably do with these three position switches, but that was the first one I learned and I wanted to pass it on to all of you so that you might be able to explore your creativity and be able to use those three position switches to their fullest extent. Okay, thanks for watching.